probably almost 20 years ago now, uh, on a visit I made to Colombia, I um, met a person who's become a very good friend of mine uh, named uh, Francisco Lopera, who lives in the uh, city of Medellin in Antioquia. And he um, told me about some families there that have Alzheimer's disease. It's a very different kind of Alzheimer's. It's an Alzheimer's that begins at age about age 49. And not only that, it's inherited from generation to generation. So if the person's mother has it, the children have a 50% chance of getting the disease. Or the same if the father has it, the children have exactly the same chance. And because the families there are quite large, uh, often we see families with 12, 15 children as many as half of the children could be developing Alzheimer's disease if one parent has the disease. From our research, we know that this very serious um, form of Alzheimer's disease is actually caused by a mutation in a gene. And there is a, a gene called presenilin that has a mistake in it. That's what we mean by a mutation. And that uh, mistake causes the disease to begin in this population at such an early age, age 49. Now there are a lot of people there that have this problem. It's over 3,000 people that live in a number of small villages in Antioquia. Um, many of them are in Medellin, but some of them live as far away as Yarumal, Angostura, Moron, uh, a number of uh, places that are in the countryside in which we have to travel five, six hours to get to. And these people are all related to each other. They all share the same gene, but they may be related in quite a distant way, third, fourth, fifth cousins. What's important is, is that there are so many affected people there that we have now begun to do a clinical trial. That is cuando está muy enferma que aquí me dice que es que yo soy muy cansón porque yo le digo consuelo ahora sí te vas a morir ahí mismo me abre los ojos entonces sí entiende si sí entienden, ellos entienden, lo que pasa es que no pueden hablar. Es que esta enfermedad lo duro es no poder hablar. You may think that uh, this little, these little towns in Colombia are quite remote and far away and have nothing to do with the rest of the world, but What we learn from the people that are getting Alzheimer's there is applicable to all of us. These people have a severe form of the disease, but otherwise it's exactly like Alzheimer's and everybody else, other than its early onset. And if we can find a treatment there in these very special cases, it's very likely that what we learn from the people in Colombia will be applied to people around the world. These people are really not just helping themselves, but they are extremely instrumental for advancing the whole field of Alzheimer's disease internationally. And I can tell you that the international research community in Alzheimer's has begun to appreciate that. Because in our international meetings, one recently in Madrid and others in this country, The Alzheimer research community has become increasingly interested in the results that are coming out of our studies. 99% of people that get Alzheimer's, those that get Alzheimer's at an older age, we don't have no idea why they get it. We have no idea whatsoever. We know that age is a risk, but we have no clue. However, in this 1% of people, for example, the people in Colombia, we know why they get it they have a mutation in a gene. So this gene is probably also related to what's causing Alzheimer's disease in the rest of us. And this message 
has been so powerful that almost all of the research, if not all of the research, in the past two decades going on in some of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world has been focused on the lessons that we've learned from these populations, such as the one in Colombia, with the mutation. They have pointed us the way toward which are the genes that are behaving badly and need to be targeted by drugs. Mm -hmm.